Hello everyone. Welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner. I'm Erin. And we are here just to literally have a conversation with you about our experience with certain colors. And today's color is, I wish we had like a drum roll. Thank you. <laughs> today's color is Sherwin-Williams 9174. Mothwing. Mothwing. Um, Mothwing is a light brown grayish. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's LRV is 29. It's a medium. Um, it's, it is a great wood pairing tone mm -hmm. if you're trying to pull in a wood mm -hmm. or even um, a brick or a mortar yep. but when you need it to go up a notch yep. you know like mm -hmm. I, I want that to get the feeling of wood and the feeling of something natural but remain rich on its own yes but still mm -hmm. right be be elegant enough mm -hmm. so it is definitely elegant and also the great thing about it is I mean it appears brown mm -hmm which is why it goes with so many natural things in wood mm -hmm. tones and all that, but it has just the right amount of a gray undertone mm -hmm. to where it also is going to go with like, say the interior of your walls is gray and mm -hmm. you're just trying to bring in a Brown mm -hmm. accent without mm -hmm. those feeling like completely not right. Competing. Yeah. Um, this has a great undertone or if you have gray floors mm -hmm. and you're thinking, gosh, you know, it, over the, and we say this all the time over the last, 10 years gray and it got so big gray and white yep so you know if you're at that point where you're like okay my floors were gray my cabinets were gray and everything is gray. Gray. gray i need some warmth i need some warmth this uh -huh. is a great way to pull in uh -huh. a, a marrying color so that then you can get more wood tones more brown browns that'll uh -huh. kind of satisfy that that warmth that need for the warmth in there but this is going to be a great stepping stone to to introduce a lot of warmth yes, so yes. this is this would be great on trim mm -hmm. like if you just have um you know white walls and this trim it's still gonna look great yeah. with gray floors yes yeah. um and again it's not gonna especially if it's on something like trim which has a lot of texture yep. you know it's not yep. a solid dimension. surface dimension mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's really gonna go is it gray is it brown is it mm -hmm. wood what is that you know so it's a it's a beautiful trim color interior and, and exterior. exterior. Yep, we've seen both. And then also it's a beautiful cabinet color. Yes. Um yes. so say you have grayish countertops, but maybe you you have um gold veining or gold yep. fixtures yep. and you want a grayish brown to bring in your lower cabinetry or something, it's a great gray oh, it's so it's just so I don't know. Lux is the word I'm thinking of, but it's a welcoming color. It is a welcoming color, mm -hmm. and it's stylish. Mm -hmm. Like if you timeless. use this color, it is timeless. Mm -hmm. But it's like I intentionally use yep. this color, yep. um, you know, because it's not seen everywhere. It's mm -hmm. not tan tan. It's not super brown. It and is it's a not true gray. gray. It is a true gray. Which, if you don't know what that means, it's a gray married with a beige. Right. Grayish. It's. It's all the rage. <laughs> it is all the rage and it's a great, but let's say this for somebody who is wanting to be more timeless mm -hmm. and is afraid of, mm -hmm. I don't want to go trendy anymore. Yep. Um, or, you know, I'm, I'm, that's not what I'm going for. This is super timeless. Like we said, it's going to pull with all kinds of warm Every color. wood tones, but mm -hmm. also a lot of cool. So if you mm -hmm. still have great undertones in your cabinets or your floors or your countertops or whatever, this is still going to play really nice with that. Mm -hmm. Um, as um like we said if you have exteriors that have uh the, the cedar shaking or mm -hmm. she cedar um posts, wraps, wraps yep, yep. things like that this plays so nice with a when wood is really the yeah. standout feature yeah and you just want this to be a complementary piece to that mm -hmm. wood or when you even have like a brick feature yeah. like say you have a, a brick natural ball, features. natural feature this is a great fence color if you have, you know, brick posts and you have a fence. Mm -hmm. It is it is really a good natural piece that's mm -hmm. that's just going to feel a little elevated when you pair mm -hmm. it with wood. Mm -hmm. Wood. Mm -hmm. Now on walls it's going to feel a little more flat. So mm -hmm. it's going to have just, you know, if you're talking about just one surface 
and and no dimension and no texture it is going to feel a little more flat still nice still inviting oh so warm and inviting actually mm -hmm. it's going to feel like mm -hmm. a like a rich cup of like coffee you yeah. know what i mean like it's with really, a lot of cream with a lot of cream <laughs> oh of course yes a lot yeah, of cream a lot of cream gotta have a lot Not of black coffee <laughs> um but like it's it's going to to feel not as mm -hmm. natural it's going to mm -hmm. feel more just warm mm -hmm. um you know but but when it's paired on a trim or on shutters or on a fence mm -hmm. or on the siding of a house or whatever it's really gonna gonna give the appearance of it being in the wood family somehow yep. Yep. It, it is a paint color that reflects tones of wood and 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 I don't want to like narrow it down to this, but the ashy wood mm -hmm. that's really in right mm -hmm. now, and that more blonde wood and that whitewashed wood, mm -hmm. that is also oh, it pulls so from those pulls really from well, that really well, because mm -hmm. it just does have that right amount of gray. Mm -hmm. So if you're the opposite, you know, and you're you got that that mm -hmm. ashy. Oh man, this is a really great one for that. So again, it is Mothwing Sherwin Williams nine one seven four. And it is a medium grayish, which is a gray, gray beige, gray beige. And it's it a great place is to a start. Good complementing neutral color yep. that is elevated above just like a beige wall. Right. Or so when you think about what does your project space need? Does it need something that is going to be highlighted? Does it mm -hmm. need something that needs to have some depth? Do you need to bring two things together? Mm -hmm. Does something need some warmth? You know, and, and, you know, if your component is wood, yep. this is a great place to start. And then, and then see, is it too brown? Is it too gray? Mm -hmm. Does it feel just right? Mm -hmm. um, and let us know what you thought about it. Mm -hmm. And that I highly recommend getting some samples like this and putting them in your room so you can see how the lighting deals with yep. them and how the, the actual color of the paint will take on other colors around it, um, the supporting colors that you're using. Absolutely, we always tell our clients, um, you know, we'll send out big, even bigger than this samples, live with it, literally live with it for a few days, try mm -hmm. it on for size, mm -hmm. see what you think, yep. and, and then we'll go from there. Yep. Um, and, and as always, if you guys play around with this and experiment with this and use it, let us know about it. Yep. We'd love to see what you thought about it, you know, in your own review of it. And okay. if you feel like you need a different color, let us know. Give us a call. Send us an email, CrawfordStreetDesigns at gmail.com. And follow us on Facebook and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Okay. Till next time, guys. Color, it's what we do.